in terms of a uh, Premier League update, of which we have a relatively significant one if you're a Brighton fan, Roberto De Zerbi, uh, a couple weeks ago now, it's not terribly recent, but um, he was named the head coach of Brighton, obviously after Graham Potter departed for Chelsea. Uh, he's played at Palermo, or he's coached at Palermo. He's coached at Benevento, Sassuolo, and then uh, before Brighton, most recently at Shakhtar. Um, he left the club in July of 2022 as a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. I'm reading his Wikipedia page right now. <laughs> if you can't already tell. It yeah. 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 Um, we have a high, uh, tech research department here at the Howlers <laughs> podcast. Her name is Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now he's at Brighton Hove Albion and a lot of people are really excited about this. He has impossibly big shoes to fill. I think so big that most fans even made it. And let's not make this a shoe filling thing. Let's just, it's a new direction, but in a, I, I will keep asking this question. How many hits can Brighton take before the balloon pops They're I think they're fourth for still fourth, right? If I remember the standings correctly, it's been a couple weeks. I believe Brighton are still fourth. Uh, and so they've were the no Basuma. Who all, who all the players they've lost in recent years? They've lost Basuma, Basuma Mape, Neil, Neil Mape, Mape. Um, Ben White. Those ben White is gone. So I, I just, Dan I don't Burn. know. I, Dan Burn. I look Dan at Brighton Burn. and I think if, if they're able to keep pulling off results, I, I didn't, we, none of us thought this was going to be a full season thing, but I mean, geez, finishing anywhere in the top 10 would be. Still I think be they a good, are fourth. I think though with a club, a club like Brighton, they have good infrastructure. Um, they make, they sell these players. You don't think so? Until they don't. Until they don't. Leicester had good infrastructure. They were selling players. But they I were think, but I doing think, the right thing. But I think their problems on the football pitch. And I think if you... They, they do invest... I, I think Brighton know what they're doing when it comes to the players that they decide to sell, when they sell them, how much money they get for them. But and it's easy to do that when you're playing good football. Yeah, and I think the minute that the football or the form drops off, then it's... that That's where Leicester's at right now. Then it's like... No, we can't sell these players that we might have anticipated selling, getting money for, and then revamping the team because right now we need to cling to these players. But Lester, hope different. that we can churn out results. Like th- Lester did it; they had Tillemans. They should have sold him like two years ago. Yeah, but Ladders Lester, they should have but sold. Brighton wouldn't do that. Brighton don't have that problem. Brighton sell until po- they start playing bad football. Yeah, but I I don't think <laughs> they don't they don't buy a bunch of players like Lester and get locked into these clauses where they can't sign anybody else for another summer. So I think not the, yet. I mean, I'm not I, saying that I that's know, the road yet. it's going to go. I, but I just I don't know. I think there's I have a little bit more optimism towards towards Brighton just because of how they've done business. And I feel like the, the opposite tra- you feel trajectory of the of this the this club. is maybe my holler of the episode uh I think Leicester obviously are last Brighton are fourth and where things stand right now I think Brighton are more of a relegation threat than Leicester are genuinely because because they're playing incredible that's very right premature. now that's I very think, premature I think I it's impossible to sustain the standard of football that Brighton are playing right now it's amazing football they have a couple guys in Leandro Trossard, Pascal Gross, Alexis McAllister. McAllister. These are all guys who are scoring goals. I don't think that form will remain. I think they will start to drop results, and I think it becomes a very slow skid from there. I think Leicester's a team way down on their form right now, obviously. You but think they'll get relegated? I'm not re- saying they're going to... No, gonna, no, no, but do you, do you potentially think they'll get... I think Brighton are a higher risk higher to risk get than relegated Leicester. than Leicester are, even where things stand right now. I don't think either... Season. I mean. January could change stay. how they'll I feel about up, that, but yeah. right. I think they'll, I think they'll but both probably stay up too, other. but I just, I think Brighton have a significant dip. Brighton did sign that. Maybe not necessarily before the world cup break, there. but I'm saying by the time the snow that's coming here melts, Brighton will be in, in a much, much worse way. I think Lester will be mid table. So yeah, it's tough. Cause it's like, Brighton, I just, the Brighton all of a sudden are not, Probably not going to be playing the, the balloon shiniest to pop. And I hate football. to be a hater. Like, I'm at, like, how much do you think I want to be the guy hating on awesome, likable, fourth-place Brighton right now? Yeah. Not at all. I'm just saying, like, balloons pop in football like this, and I just... Oh, I, I, a fighter can only take so many punches. Right. <laughs> I don't... I don't it starts to wobble. I don't think it would have... I'm pretty sure Graham, like, they didn't have to release him from his contract, or get they obviously sold his contract to Chelsea. And I hope I'm wrong. I think the decisions that they make on a business scale, they are anticipate what's to, what's to come and I think right now Brighton are in a good spot next season. I think potentially yes, more so, but I don't think they would have done what they've done this season without a backup plan that keeps them up and keeps them playing good football. 
So I guess we'll have to wait and see. He did win uh, Ukrainian Super Cup in 2021 with Dynamo Kiev, who is definitely the best Ukrainian club. He um, also has played at a load of top clubs. Not played, but been at. <laughs> yeah. He's at not, Milan. Not necessarily. AC Milan and for. Napoli. Yeah. He played until 2010. So where do you see Brighton finishing, I guess, now that this... 15th. Six, 16th. Oh, jeez. I have to 16th. look at my table. Uh, I got Brighton finishing 16th. I got Leicester finishing 10th. That's my updated. <laughs> That's nuts. That's a crazy swap. <laughs> Leicester may be 14th. They're not going to not win a game this season. I get that they're the wh- the whipping boys right now, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I don't know what I'm telling you, but I'm telling you. Uh, they're going to turn it around. They will. What about you? Bri- Bri- uh, Brighton? I think they'll finish like 13th. I think they'll finish 11th. 11th. Where do you think Leicester will finish? Probably 15th. 14th. I don't know. Uh, in that, they'll be near each other. Yeah. Fair. 